everyone. So we have some exciting news, uh, some interesting news. For those who don't know, obviously, uh, this past week in Japan, the Switch has blown up. It had over 70,000 know, unit sales. And I didn't really think much of it because while there wasn't necessarily a significant game release to cause that, I assumed if we're getting more stock here in the U.S., which we clearly are, in fact, I have links down in the description to both the Neon version and the Gray version of Switch from Amazon. If you don't own a Switch yet and you keep thinking it's sold out, we have links to it down in the description. You can go buy it right now at MSRP, which is awesome. Um, and I'm seeing a lot more of them in the store. So I assume if we're getting more stock here in the U.S., they're obviously getting more stock of the Switch in, well, Japan. So... An article came across my desk today that said that Nintendo has apparently upped their Switch production to 2 million units worldwide per month. So their production is somehow hitting a 2 million per month, which or extrapolated over 12 months would be 24 million units. So we know Nintendo's forecast, they have consistently stuck to the, we are going to produce 10 million units this fiscal year. Now, on October 30th, they have a new earnings call, a new six-month report, kind of the halfway point uh, for this fiscal year. And there is where they would do things like update their forecast. So while they've been sticking to the 10 million, this is the first time they could officially upgrade that forecast. So they could up it to 12, 14, 15, or crazily enough, 20. Although, based on the fact they had shortages for this first six months, I don't think 20 million is realistic. But let's get into this report. It comes from iDigitimes. Now, it should be noted, Digital Times reports exclusively on, uh, they make English reports of Asian news, and it's it, it's kind of up in the air that their reputation is kind of like this, and you'll see that as I read this report because there's some facts in here that I know they have wrong, uh, unless they happen to have insiders at Nintendo that know what's going to happen at this meeting on the 30th, but let's just get into the report. And it says, uh, Nintendo has recently raised its orders for the Nintendo Switch to 2 million units a month because of the product's surging demand. And the vendor is expected to be able to achieve its annual shipment target of 20 million units for 2017. So as I said, note, like, it's 10 million units officially. Uh, so that you might consider that a red flag, but we'll continue. And they said this is according to sources from the upstream supply chain. Uh, and then they have a quote here, since Nintendo Switch reportedly will begin selling in China market in early 2018, the source believes that uh, the device's shipments may rise further next year. Now, it is important to note about that, Mark, is that Nintendo has kind of sort of publicly denied that they're going to go into China in early 2018. But again, we're not too early 2018 yet. They might just want to put a kibosh on it so they could do a, a big official announcement for it. Uh, we don't really know what Nintendo's plans in China are. Uh, anyways, going on, the article says, by the end of June 2017, Nintendo had already sold 4.7 million Switches, that is a fact, uh, and the strong performance has prompted Nintendo to increase the supply of the game's console. Obviously, uh, they, could, they were selling out all summer. Uh, then they have another quote here, it says, the game console is currently in short supply in Japan, and it will not be available in Taiwan until December 2017. I double-checked that, that is happening, it is coming to Taiwan in December. Uh, with the launch in China has not been officially scheduled. See, it's really weird because earlier they said it's coming out in early 2018 and now they're saying it's not officially scheduled. So it's like they recognize their error in their own reporting. I don't know. It, the IGG Times is weird. And again, they're translating stuff from Asia. Maybe some things are lost in translation. Anyways, they go on to say, China lifted the ban on game consoles in early 2014. Microsoft starting selling the Xbox in China at the end of 2014. And Sony released its PlayStation in early 2015. In 2016, China's games console sales grew 56.7% on year, a growth higher than the worldwide average, according to China's official figures. And then it goes on to say that Nintendo has also recently partnered with Tencent to add one of the China-based player games to the Switch's platform. And this is 100% true. This was announced in their last Nintendo Direct. Moving on, uh, the sources also pointed out that the Switch shortages are mainly due to tight supplies of key components including DRAM. Interesting. The first time we've heard that that's one of the components that are being shorted. Uh, and it has nothing to do with defective components or issues on its assembly. Again, we've never heard that they are having those kind of issues. Uh, it says the qu this, the, qu the switch is currently manufactured by Foxconn and Japan-based Hoseidon, with Foxconn supplying over 50% of the overall volume. But ODMs, 
such as Pegatron Technology and Winstrun are trying to win orders for the game console. Pegatron has stationed a team near Nintendo's headquarters looking to persuade the Japanese-based company. So, in other words, uh, it sounds like, ignoring some of the factual inaccuracies, that this bad boy right here, this Nintendo Switch, and I'm holding it in my hand, not necessarily, they don't sell a version with both blue Joy-Cons, but this bad boy is going to sell like gangbusters this holiday. Nintendo's planning for it, and they have up production to a point that they are can hit 2 million units per month, which is an insane production volume. That That's probably what Nintendo should have been doing all summer. They might have sold every unit. I don't know. And they still haven't caught up in Japan. I even heard with the increase to 70,000 sales this past week, there were still lotteries being held in Japan. So Japan is still extremely supply constrained. Not so much here in the U.S. Demand seems to be finally have met, you know, have been met officially. You know, I talked about it in the past with the SNES Classic Nintendo's combating scalpers by meeting demand. Well, they technically haven't met demand just quite yet. They've just done a better job than the NES Classic, but they have now officially met demand with Switch with how easy it is to get your hands on one. So now the question remains: uh, What is Nintendo going to do with this moving forward? And are they really going to invade in China sometime next year? And I say invade, they're not taking over. Well, you know what I mean, releasing the Switch in China. Because that's obviously going to put even more supply, you know, strain on the supply chain. Now, what's also interesting in here is that Nintendo has other companies competing to make units of this. And that's only going to help Nintendo really, you know, really up production in 2018 if they need to, should they launch in China and should they see a huge success chain in China, especially if they're partnered with Tencent, which is like the biggest gaming company in China. All their games are like the biggest, most popular games in China. Nintendo's getting one of those games, which is very League of Legends-like, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, those MOBAs are fun. So obviously we have to sit back and consider the facts. Nintendo has likely up production. Have they hit the 2 million mark? I don't know. That's what this report is claiming. And with the factual inaccuracies and the contradictions inside the report, I don't blame you if you want to dismiss it. But I don't know that it's that easy to dismiss because obviously I think Nintendo's, with the popularity of the device, is going to have companies competing to make more of these units for Nintendo. And on top of that, Nintendo needed to up production, and they're starting to meet demand uh, in wake of Super Mario Odyssey releasing in less than a month. At end of this month, Super Mario Odyssey is going to be here, and that's going to be a huge hit. It might cause the Switch to sell out again, and this is before we get to the end of November, where they're going to be selling out probably again around Black Friday, and obviously they still have a late, you know, hopefully hit release in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on December 1st. Uh, Nintendo, this is ignoring games like Skyrim and Doom and <laughs> Fire Emblem Warriors and all the games Nintendo has releasing in between this whole mess. Hell, we've got L.A. Noir coming on the 14th of November. Things are going nuts right now, and I am thrilled for Nintendo. Uh, this is just showing that not only are sales backing up the success of the system, Nintendo's production is finally backing up the success as well. Uh, why they had issues getting this production ramped up in the summer, we all know that there's been you know, worldwide NAND shortages, and now we're hearing, according to this report, DRAM shortages. I don't know how true that is, but with companies competing to get Nintendo's business, these shortages are starting to vanish, and I couldn't be more thrilled for all you guys out there hoping to get a Switch. So yeah, I just wanted to let, let you know that Nintendo is ramping things up. Uh, regardless if this report is 100% accurate or accurate at all, we already know based on our own stock situation that Nintendo has done something. And we can't wait till October 30th when Nintendo will finally tell us if they're going to up their prediction. Because if they're going to still stick to the 10 million, then this report was probably a bunch of hogwash. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, that's fine. Dislike it. Uh, I will just, you know, catch you guys in the next one.